and we're going to have fun today. We're going to find out what the Churchill Theater is up to. Get, we get a little background noise on their gala that they just had, and the great play coming up, a funny thing happened on the way to the, okay, forum. Liz, you've been here before. Introduce yourself and who this character you have sitting to the left of you. And remember, you can change names to protect the innocent yes. if you want to. Okay. Well, hi. It's good to see you again. Liz, Thank good you for to having see me you. Back. Thank you. We not we we'll talk baseball at the end. Good. Okay. I hope right. so. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, my name is Liz Clark. I'm the director of A Funny Thing Happened on the Way of the Forum. And sitting to my left is Eddie Vance, and he is playing the role of Erroneous. 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 Very As good. the script says in the beginning. Something like a doddering old man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we. Oh, I can identify immediately. Not typecasting, okay. by the way. No, okay. never, never. Well, how about before I, we before we go? Let's let's talk about a character first, then Liz will talk about the director's viewpoint. I do want you to talk a little bit about how well the gala went. Okay. 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 Sure. Tell me about your character. I am a doddering a, old man. I'm I am uh, <laughs> half blind or or worse. Okay. But I have my hearing. Uh, my faculties are mostly intact. Okay. Um, I, I walk with a bit of a slow gait, and I tend to be confused on occasion. <laughs> you're, you're, you're hitting too many notes here. Yeah. I'm getting a little confused. Now, what's the role in the play in terms of protagonist, antagonist, uh, singing, dancing, all the above? What's Liz letting you do on stage? I, I, I am in two, two dance numbers. Okay. Um, but mostly I'm just a plot device. I don't want to give away too much, but when the play is resolving at the end of the second act, I have a piece in that. Major part, okay. Yeah. And the co reflect on the costume a little bit. Uh, <laughs> well, I have a green tunic. Okay. <laughs> okay. And uh, well, it's this, better than a toga. I was, Liz, I was expecting guys in togas. So we're, we're, I have a nice uh, blue cape. <laughs> okay. And then I have this. Gorgeous, it's a period piece, right? Hat. That's what we hope. Yeah. Okay. It's All a right. bit of a period piece. <laughs> We, this is what we think Rome looked like. Okay. Um, <laughs> at least, well, I didn't choose it. It's what somebody thinks. Oh, it's great. Like. I think it's a great question. Yeah. Now, Liz, tell, how about do this? You're the director. Make sure everybody knows, correct? Mm -hmm. Of the play. Tell us about, a lot of people have seen the movie, and like, but let's remind everybody, what is a funny thing happening on the way to the forum about, and what, what can they expect if they show up? It's, really it's a bit of a, um, a comedy of errors, okay. uh, and... Um, yeah, um, Pseudolus, who's the main character, wants to obtain. He's a he's a slave, and he wants to obtain his freedom. And he pretty much goes. Um, Where are we now? Are we in? Oh, Rome? ancient Rome. Ancient Rome. Okay. So. A okay. Long time think of ago. think of the Roman Empire and ancient Rome. Yes. Okay, all right. Um, and he, togas and Caesar-like characters running around. Correct. Right? Okay. <laughs> Okay. Um, and he wants to obtain his freedom, and he will go by any means to obtain it. And everything goes wrong. Um, okay. And then at the end, there's a um, you know happy ending because oh. there has to be. So right? you leave there happy, all right? You leave yes. the theater happy that night, okay? I, I hope. Oh, oh you, you will. Know. Okay. You guys <laughs> do yes. a good job. At least entertained. Yes. At least entertained. <laughs> now, how many how many people do we have? How many people are you directing? How many people are in the cast? I think there's 18 in Something the cast. Like 17 okay. or 18. Okay. So yeah. we see 18 local actors mostly, mm -hmm. or some of them, right? Local all talent. Them. Okay. All, oh, all of them are. Well, define what you mean by local, but yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Washington <laughs> Metropolitan Mid Baltimore. Shore. They're not yes. from Boston. Or they're not, we're not, not, we're not robbing Broadway, right? right. No one's mad at no. us. Okay. Right. <laughs> um, well, they laugh, and the audience, uh, there's a lot of laughter involved. How mm -hmm. about some, give me some tunes. What type of tunes will they Oh, Eddie's identify? the actor. I'm not. All right, Eddie, so. <laughs> give, me a, give us a little background. Well, most people know uh, something familiar, a comedy tonight. Okay. That opens the show. It also closes the show. Right. Mm -hmm. And then there's a, a pretty little picture. Everybody ought to have a maid. The the, the Which theater is kind of the, big the yeah. theater fans would know the, those. The bingo, the, the lights go teams. on. Okay. Yeah, and and they they have the the staging and the actors. You know, everything's on the page, and then we have to bring it to life, obviously. But there will be some show stopping moments in these production <laughs> numbers. Okay. And the good news, we're going to leave happy. I think in twenty twenty one, anything, you, whether it's live theater or movies, I think we all need to live happy, singing a little song or mm -hmm. dancing a little bit. All right. Number of dance numbers, Liz, in the play? Oh, um, geez. A lot. A fair amount. A fair, a fair amount. amount. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to see people dancing on the stage. Okay. We see people singing on the stage, mm -hmm. and and a happy ending. Mm -hmm. oh, that's, 
And and when it's not just the stage, we have the the two aisles. We have people exiting and entering oh, okay. both of the aisles, and then the the side doors. It, yeah. It's it's meant to be. It, it's a vaudeville approach. Well, it's a vaudeville thing, really. <laughs> and we're, we're trying to live up to that. And okay. just have a madcap. So the audience is going to have fun, Over the right? top. I mean, oh, well, yeah. the stage oh, yeah. going That's to... the idea. Yeah. We're certainly going to do our best. <laughs> and plus, in a Churchill Theater, which we hope will have new seats, which they will have, you, mm -hmm. have, you can entertain yourself with adult drinks, right? Mm -hmm. And the whole, right, if I understand, the whole place has kind of been redone, yes? Yeah. You've kept the charm of Churchill Theater, mm -hmm. but it's been redone. Right? Yes. Now, let me ask Liz, as a director, you're like the manager of a baseball team here, all right? <laughs> so how's it going, director? I mean, we, uh, you, you're happy, a lot of energy. I mean, this, uh, it's, been going, it's been going well. Um, okay. I mean, there's been some conflicts in terms of, um, you know, everybody's scheduling and trying to find times where it it's works hard. with everyone. Yeah. But, you know, people. That that's kind of the the beauty of community theater is that these are ordinary, regular people yeah, with their regular jobs, lives. They have wives. They have husbands, They're not yeah. all professional actors, and okay. um, so that's been kind of the complicated part. Um, the other complicated part was trying to find some actors because okay. um, I was really trying to like pull some teeth because uh, people came out for auditions, but I still was I think like two or three actors short and. Um, you know, people were kind of like, oh, I don't know if I want to. Yeah. Yeah. So it yeah. was just that those have been the frustrations, but seeing it all, um, you know, put on stage and starting to slowly come together, it's just like. It's meshing now. It's like, it's like an athletic team. It's meshing now. Right? Yeah, they're, yeah, they're, they're, yeah. You're on a roll, right? You're going to win here. Mm -hmm. uh, when people come, new, th basically a redone, cleaned up, not, not that it was dirty, but cleaned up and kind of reinvigorated theater, right? A lot of energy. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's going to be a good night out, and they're going to leave happy, which will be nice. Yep. Who are some of the, can you give us some of the names of some of the locals that are in it? Well, um, I think it, in terms of Churchill Cash Theater West. regulars, mm -hmm. um, Matt Folker, Becca Van Aken, um, Kendall Chairs, uh, who is also my choreographer, um, uh, there, I have some younger cast members, um, okay. uh, Caleb Ford and um, Avery Hitchkiz. I think I'm saying her okay, last name okay. correctly. You can blame me if it's am. wrong. You say Fred threw me off. Right? Yeah, <laughs> it's your fault. It's yeah. Um, so it's a it's a nice blend of um, you know Churchill Theater regulars and some new faces. Okay. So, you're gonna, so people have been going to Churchill Theater. Hey, they'll recognize some faces up mm -hmm. there and recognize their good talents that's up there. It'll be kind of fun. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now let's <laughs> go back to some basics. How much, when, where, and how? How much does it cost to go to the Churchill Theater? Well, um, it costs about ten dollars for a regular ticket. Okay. Ten dollars if you are a student. Hey, live stage for ten dollars. Come on, this is robbery. This is robbery. Right? It's a great deal, right? <laughs> but you can also buy season pass, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I, yep. Do you know what the price is? That or how that Off works? the top of my head, I do not. Don't even worry about it. Okay. If it was four years ago, I could tell you. Don't worry. <laughs> dates, dates is going to be. Um, November 5th through the 21st. So we're about three weeks away, is that mm -hmm. about? Okay, okay. <laughs> so you're having a nice run right up to Thanksgiving type yes. thing. Yes. Okay, which yeah. will be good. Mm -hmm. uh, remind everybody, obviously the theater's in church, but it's plenty of parking, it's easy to get to, it's not a problem. Yeah, how's the arcade doing? That was the only thing I was worried about when I went you sign outside the theater. Marquee. Is it good? Oh, marquee. the marquee. Oh, did I say arcade? I'm sorry. It's like, is there an arcade? There's a game. You don't know Church about the game. You don't know about the game. Next year. You yeah. don't know about the games. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell her about the games we have in the background. Right. How's the marquee doing? Well, um, the marquee is still uh, in construction. They're working. There was yellow tape around it or something. Yeah, last and time from I what there. I understand, um, uh, due to due to COVID, um, uh, from what I understand, from what Kendall Chairs told me, who's mm -hmm. the business manager of the theater, um, a lot of contractors are not really looking to do smaller projects okay. right okay. now due Which to COVID-19. And that's happening with the trades industry. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So so what we're trying to do, um, I think, and what we did at the gala, which I'm sure we'll talk about momentarily, mm -hmm. but what we also tried to do at the gala was raise money for the marquee um, so that we can kind of try to get that fixed up okay. a little bit. But um, That's not going to hinder a good night. No. And a, and a great but, theory, right? uh, the marquee is still... Um, getting repaired, and, and from what I understand, uh, Churchill Theater is trying to find a, a contractor to, to okay. 
fix Well, the, if you can't get the marquee fixed, we'll fix the arcade, right? Don't, yeah, don't, don't tell her. Better. Right. <laughs> okay, okay. So can you get tickets right now, mm -hmm. three weeks out? Yep. And what's the best way, online? Probably online, okay, yeah. Okay, do, do you happen to know that website? It's okay if you don't. www.churchilltheater.org, okay. theater with a T-R-E. Okay, and you can order tickets right online mm -hmm. for any particular night. Is it every night of the week or just weekends? Oh, just weekends. Okay, so when you, <laughs> well, when you get your calendar out mm -hmm. and you look about from early November to about Thanksgiving time, think weekends type activity, what time in the evening? Are you matinees or what? Friday and Saturday at 8 o'clock okay. and Sundays at 2. Okay. Mm -hmm. So look at your calendar. Look at your time schedule. Got a, not, a lot of nice choices. $10. Come on, man. That's robbery. For students. Oh, for, for students. students. How about adults? $20 for That's adults. That's still a bargain. <laughs> Last time I went to Broadway, it was a couple hundred dollars. I know. Kiosk, right? I know. <laughs> and, and, and then you, and then you, you, you crossed your fingers. You kind of got what you wanted because you didn't know what you are going to get. Mm -hmm. And it's a delightful evening in Churchill, right? Yeah. I mean, it's just It's easy. Parking's not a hassle. You get home quick. You don't need to go across the bridge. You don't, mm -hmm. as much as I like the Kennedy Center, you don't have to go there. Yeah. Baltimore. Come right into Churchill, and it's <laughs> easy, and it's good. All right, now let me ask you, any lines you want to give us, or any great <laughs> lines? I'm putting you on the spot here. You didn't know I was going to say this to you. Any one-liners you want to give me? Or? Well, in the first act, my character okay. is directed to walk the seven hills of Rome seven times. Oh, Lord. So I spend the body of the play wandering. Wandering, okay. So I'm coming in the aisle, out the aisle. Aren't you walking every, around the theater? Every, I am, oh, and no. every time I cross the stage, I say something like, first time around! <laughs> okay. And then another couple of times. And, and yeah. during the play, you're actually are, you, are you actually walking around the whole time of the play or no? <laughs> I mean, I can... I'm going to call your wife and say, don't do this to this old guy. <laughs> Actually, no, oh, I'm good. not doing that. <laughs> thank you, thank you. We, we can, We can relax in the basement. I can see yes. about the second yeah. week going, I'm out of here, man. This is killing <laughs> This is me. not what I signed up no, for. No, no. Some of yeah. us like to go to the arcade when we're not on stage. <laughs> All right. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Can you fix the marquee, though? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Can't do that. Well, there's, you know, there's supply chain. There's all kinds of reasons oh, like why that's going on. But the price of a piece of plywood is, or a two-by-four, we're lucky we get anything fixed. Yeah. How about, Liz, we <laughs> shift gears for a little second. We come back to the play. Mm -hmm. Tell us about the wonderful gala. Both of you can, because you both were there. You had a wonderful gala a week ago Saturday. Yep. Week Tell us about it. Remind everybody what it was and what a big hit it was. Um, it was kind of like the grand reopening of Churchill Theater. Um, uh, it was last Saturday, October 8th or 9th. Yeah, my I guess the date my, yeah, doesn't really matter at this point. Um, but but it was nice. Uh, we Sorry. we had a no. You're fine. We had kind of like a cabaret type thing. Um, a black tie uh, event. Yes, it was a mm -hmm. black tie yes. event. Yes, um, it was a good excuse to get. Dressed up. Mr. Grasso dragged up, uh, had his, what, uh, uh, full uh, outfit his on? His tails on. Oh, he had right? tails on, too. Oh, no, I hate not Okay, all right. <laughs> he, <laughs> was tell he was <laughs> stunning nonetheless. Yeah. yeah. It was great pictures. Um, but there are, uh, you know, Churchill Theater regulars who were performing, um, you know, uh, favorites of the last, like, kind of five years. Which went over really well. Churchill Theater, right? yeah. Yes. Went over well. Um, I bartended with Kendall Chairs, okay. which was also really fun. Good, a bit of um, I, I won something at the silent auction, mm. so it, it was... You batted a thousand that night. You had a good night. Yeah. Yes, you yeah. did. Okay. <laughs> but, now, and, and it was a fundraiser as well as, hey, we're back. Yeah. Just like Broadway went dark mm -hmm. for its long length of time. Yep. You're back now. You're back. Churchill's back, and it's going to be and it's going to be exciting. Mm -hmm. well, the highlight was uh, you guys doing something at the end of the uh, live performances. I've got to say it was a highlight <laughs> since you're here. Uh, yes, of course. What did you do? What did you, what did you, what did you sing or do? The, um, the the cast of the gala um, performed comedy tonight. Oh, okay. Which is from. A funny You're thing playing. happened on the way to the forum. Great, okay. And Ironic enough. <laughs> and you had a nice crowd. Mm -hmm. It was a nice well, evening. It was a catered well. event. It was it it was really nice. And it was, you know, not just, you know, theater, you know, Churchill Theater is back, but there was also, um, you know, kind of the showcase of it was, okay, look at what we've done with yeah. the space. Um, uh, we have a great volunteer base, and they, they completely stripped the mm. floor of the theater. Um, rebuffed it. I can't wait to get in. It's going to be great. Eh? Yeah. Um, and then we we ordered our Churchill Theater ordered these beautiful Art Deco um, 
what is it, uh, not drapes, but the, the fabric on the walls. Well, yeah. Um, okay. It's just very reminiscent of, of an Art Deco design. Mm -hmm. It was always um, a charming place. I can't imagine yeah. it made it more charming, oh, it's, it sounds It's like. beautiful now. And and the fabric before was, was um, you know, it was authentic from, from the 1930s, but okay. it was just so old. It was stained. It started to yeah, rip. Yeah, and. Yeah. Um, the new fabric is really, really okay. beautiful. And then on top of that, it was like, oh, here are new um, theater seats. If you want to donate some money and kind of de dedicate a seat to somebody. And that's really, that's, 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 remind everybody, if somebody wants, tell them about the great idea, you can actually get a seat with a permanent name put mm -hmm. on the back. Can you give us a little background? Yeah. Well, if that's um, <laughs> the whole background, you can get a seat with your name on um, the back. The thing I will say is if you're interested in that, in, uh, in purchasing a seat, and yeah, you'll get a little plaque and, and um, you know, it'll permanently be there. Uh, the best thing I can say is um, call Kendall at Churchill Theater okay. and, get <laughs> and more talk to her about it. That's a great idea. I mean, yeah. you know, and a nice way to donate to local community theater yep. and it'd be you know, a loved one or whoever you want to have, and be there permanently, right? Yeah. On these new seats, which is going to be great, right? Yes. Which would be kind of fun. Okay. Well, I'm glad the gala went well. I've heard nothing but good things. And if you get Mr. Grasso uh, all dressed up, you win, right? <laughs> yeah. Any time you get any of his old guys all dressed up like that, as well. Yeah. All right, let's remind everybody. Let's go over all this again. Everybody's watching. We're telling them, don't need to go to the Kennedy Center. Go if you want to, but you don't need to do it that travel that far. You don't need to go up to Wilmington, New York, or whatever. We have coming up a funny thing happened on the way to the forum. A happy show. It's going to have music. It's going to have dance. It's going to have all types of good things. You're going to leave there. Not only have we seen the theater updated, you can have a glass of wine or adult beverage, right? <laughs> we'll see this poor gentleman walk around, not for eight hours or three <laughs> hours of the length of the play, but counting laps around the hills of Rome. It'll be the illusion of that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think that would be a fun role, right? Which would be good. It is fun. Do you, yes. make, do you make all seven? Do you, I mean, how many times do you count? I think we only do three. Okay, which is enough. Enough for you, anyway. Seven is implied. <laughs> okay, yes. good. And again, let's, rem let's remind them that you're the director, mm -hmm. and remind them, what are the dates again? November 5th through the 21st. Okay. Mm -hmm. Of November, so and you're basically weekends, mm -hmm. and go online and order tickets right now from the website. So yes. don't wait. Yeah. Because a lot of people have been stuck inside for almost two years now. Yeah. You know, we yeah. saw that Centerville had an activity about two weeks ago. They were, they were expecting 50 to 100. They had almost 1,000 people just because people have been pent up from the COVID virus. I can imagine, I mean, I, I haven't, Queen Anne's County used to have a yearly trip to Broadway, Liz, we talked about right, last time. Right. It was a great bus trip, and mm -hmm. you couldn't do that. We haven't done that for two years, so you guys are going to, uh, I think you're going to be surprised how many people you the get. The last musical we did Please. was Jesus Christ Superstar. Oh, really? Okay. Nine sold-out performances. Nine yeah. sold-out. So get yeah. your tickets now, please. Don't wait. Get online now, okay, and order the tickets, and the price is fantastic, right? Mm -hmm. $20 for adults, right? Mm -hmm. $10 for kids. Mm -hmm. See, local talent. Come on, you can't beat that. That's almost <laughs> as good as the Red Sox and the Yankees. Right? <laughs> well, no, you're See, better. You're actually better. better. You're yeah, better. You're it's, better it's, than it's a it's a it's an exceedingly affordable evening out, and, so and you don't have to drive a great. And you, and it's guaranteed that you will laugh. Good. At least one. And you we laugh at rehearsal all the time. Oh, yeah. And we keep hearing the same things over and over again. Yes, it's still yeah. funny. And it's a feel good play, yes, in some ways, right? Yeah, it's, and yeah. and it's just there, there's a I, well, I don't want to give too much away, no, but no. there's just a lot of. Um, you, it, it's a slapstick, you yes, know, yeah. and and it's a and it's a little bit of a farce as well. And mm. it's just there's a lot of physical comedy. Um, there's a lot of uh, suggested okay. uh, comedy. Okay. <laughs> um, Use your imagination that night. Yeah, yes. I don't again. Don't want to give away too much, don't but do um, it's uh, it, it's guaranteed to bring entertainment. Oh. So <laughs> one of the taglines in the opening number is tragedy tomorrow, mm -hmm. right? comedy tonight. Yes, and tonight and, it will be comedy, or that night it will be comedy. <laughs> I've always wanted to ask this of a community stage. What got you into acting and the community theater? And what, what was it? I mean, did you always want to do it? You always did it or what? Uh, no, I've not always done it. I, I performed in junior, what we used to call junior high school and high school in Baltimore County. Okay. And then I took about 40 or so years off. And then when I saw the notice, I guess in the Star Democrat, that Churchill was doing Superstar, this would have been in November, December of 18, mm -hmm. um, I thought that's something I wanted to do. 
and I asked my wife if it was okay. I was <laughs> I was working full time. Is a family reputation. Well, and I also asked my son if I if he thought I'd be making too big yes, of a fool. Well, I had myself. the pleasure of teaching him as a delightful manners and an all A student. You're very by kind. Way. Thank and you. Healthy. No, he's great. You guys, you and Peggy did a great job. They both. Thank you. They both <laughs> signed off. So that was the all the encouragement. The high I command said yes. <laughs> and and when I showed up at the audition, you know, all I knew in that room because I didn't know the Churchill crowd. I knew Sheila from Queen Anne's High School, right. and I knew Becca Van Aken from Guys Read, which is a program that the library does with okay. the, uh, the local schools, elementary schools. And then I knew a gentleman from Denton. That was it. That was it. So I walked in there. and You and went in there cold. I went in there very cold. And <laughs> Sheila, for reasons unknown to me, put me in the show. <laughs> what, what role did you get? I was in the chorus. I mean, oh, of course, I, okay. You know, over the course of the show, I was a leper. I was a centurion. Um, I was something else. I was an apostle for, okay. for crying out loud. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> a singing role? Well, as a, a chorus member, as a choir. yes, yes. Yeah. And, and also, you know, a little soft shoe here and there. What was, your favorite song? I mean, there, what was your favorite song? I, mean, I just, Jesus Christ, superstar. I mean, just the. Well, the, the one that I is in my head the most is mm -hmm. Christ, you know I love you. Yeah. yeah. Did you see I wait? <laughs> okay. I and this believe. was done with the chorus, right? Oh, yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> Um, and of course, you know that was that that show came out when I was a, a much younger man, <laughs> and we all listened to it all the time. Yes. So um, uh, people above a certain age coming into that show knew it. Of course. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we didn't have a learning curve other than the harmonies, uh, and then the choreography. It was just a time of my life, okay. you know. And you and, it. and this is my third play now with Churchill, and I've made friends. Um, in this later stage of my life, and uh, I'm just I'm really pleased that that they received me, and um, it's been a good experience. And you enjoy it, right? I have a great time. Okay. We, like I said, we laugh a lot. Uh, even well, the play that I did in between was 33 Variations, which was a drama directed by Michael Whitehill. That was at the end of the summer in 19, and we laughed during that, of course, during of course, rehearsals yeah. because you know. Yeah. Sounds like you're having a good time. Sounds like these rehearsals are more partying going on. <laughs> Nobody <laughs>, laughs more than Liz, by the good. way. Uh, you want the director to laugh, right? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> now, do you, again, let me say with the acting thing, do you, uh, I used to run a lot. I mean, do you get like a little buzz when you're on the stage or after? Or, a lot of people tell me when they act, they change their whole lifestyle. In other words, it, you don't go to bed at 11 o'clock anymore. Guess what? You're, you're on this adrenaline rush. There is, there is a bit of a rush. Uh, it sustains me, at least through the rehearsals and the performances, but then when the curtain falls, you know, I'm done. You're I'm, exhausted. I'm cooked for the Physically day. Physically exhausted and yes. mentally? Really? Yes. Physically exhausted too? Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> but again, and especially that was the case with Superstar because there was a lot. We well, there were, was we, no stopping. We were all on the stage a lot, <laughs> yeah. and there was a lot of moving, you know. Okay. Some of it choreographed. And there's no moving. dialogue, so we're singing right. the whole pretty much the whole time. It's the rock yeah. opera. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and again, up the aisles, down the aisles, you know, under the stage, I mean, under the theater <laughs> to get to the lobby to come in from the back and all so of that. So you're moving physically, actually we moving did. physically. You, so not, you are running. I think it's like used a marathon. to work nonstop. It really was. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Did you direct that, Liz? Oh, no, I, I, I was also in, in what, did the, you, what was your role? I was in the ensemble oh, as well. Oh, the ensemble, so, okay. All right. Um, but by far, um, so I, I, I always tell everyone, um, you know, being involved in Jesus Christ Superstar uh, was one of the most, fun times I had on okay. stage ever. Um, and the second, like at, at a close number two mm -hmm. was um, when Churchill Theater did a funny thing happen on the way of the forum oh, okay. back okay. in 2004. Oh, we've done this before. This okay, was so. a performer in the You performed in it in 2004. Oh, yeah. in 2000, what role did you have? Uh, I was one of the courtesans okay. in 2004. And it was, um, you know, back back then it, it was, it was just so much fun, and and um, it it inspired me to continue, you yeah, know, made year you after get year. Involved more with theater, and yeah. um, and I think it really helps, you know, that that the the show is, for lack of better words, good. Yes. Um, and, great show, classic. Yeah, yes. yeah and and you're, you know, you enjoy the story. Um, it's fun to perform, and then of course, like the people who are involved in it as well, and that's the. That's Sounds like you have a lot of good people of involved in it. Yeah. Well, now, what's, what's, the, what's the excitement of directing? I mean, I've coached for many years <laughs> athletics, 
And coaching is, again, in its own way. Mm -hmm. You know you're not the star, but when you see a group of people who can't do anything together, all of a sudden it meshes. Yeah. Uh, what's, what's the, it's what's the, the same, thing? I mean, it's the same concept. I, okay. I Personally, I, I do like performing, but I get a very natural high from directing, and I kind of have this, this vision um, that then, you know, bit by bit, it, it gets put to life mm -hmm. and um it I'll, comes together doesn't it yeah yes it comes together yeah and i've directed um a lot of shows and you know some have been smooth sailing and some have been very rocky uh rehearsal schedules but at the end it it all it all comes together at just like the that. last second okay. and it and then it just you know and the that director relief. has to put it together correct? yeah it's like a coach yep. and the coaches are only good if the athletes are good right mm -hmm. i think plays are only good if the actors are good but Someone has to put them together. Mm -hmm. you know, you've got. I mean, I always like the early readings you see. I mean, I've just watched on TV. Mm -hmm. People just reading out of a book. Next thing you know, they're in costumes. They're dancing. They're singing. Someone's got the lights going on. Someone. Now, is that the director's all responsible to put that all together? Pretty much. Yeah. So I mean, well, of course. Like it, when you. When you direct, you you have to find like a production crew, and mm -hmm. and you know. So obviously, like, you know, just from my experience you know I, I can have a say in what I want the lighting to look like okay. but the lighting designer would say Maybe actually final let's decision. think about it this way okay. so it's it's okay. it's really a collaborative effort oh, yeah. um, but you know I, I you know with directing I have an idea let's try to put it on so stage your personality is in the, as well as the actor's personality and the director's personality mm -hmm. right yeah. Sounds like it's going to be an exciting time. Well, folks, with a couple minutes we have left, let's remind everybody, a funny thing happened on the way to the forum, mm -hmm. Churchill Theater, dates again. I know you get tired of me, Liz, but there, okay. someone just ran for the <laughs> pencil and paper out there. Yeah. What are those dates again? Um, November 5th through the 21st. Okay, and we do weekends, mm -hmm. right? Yes? Weekends only, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay, and is there a matinee? Matinees or Sundays at 2. Okay, good. So mm -hmm. forget the silly football games. Let's get up to church and do something serious <laughs> and watch this. Okay. Cost real reasonable. Something serious. I'm sorry. Yeah. That was very funny. That's okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm not that funny. I'm still, having, I'm still having trouble with the arcade and whatever. We, where is that arcade? Would you guys tell me where that yeah. is? Uh, $20 for adults. Don't wait. Mm -hmm. Get Please online now. Get those. Mm -hmm. Can they just drive up with their fingers crossed to the theater the night of a show? And, yeah. And go to the, there's a box office right in front. So you yep. can do that, okay? Mm -hmm. So don't be put off if you just somehow forget about it. Get in your car, get a bite to eat or whatever, and just yeah. drive up. Parking's never a problem on one of the side streets or whatever, mm -hmm. okay? All right. Well, it sounds like a lot of fun. You hit a home run with a gala. Now we're going to hit a home run with this. It sounds like Thanksgiving, between now and Thanksgiving, is going to be a lot of fun, okay? It will. Yes. Thank you both, and good luck. Break legs or arms Thank or whatever you. I'm supposed to say to you, all right? <laughs> and please, I'll see you there, all right? And if you need someone to walk the seven hills, the whole theater, that I could do, and as long as I don't have speaking Oh, I'd, I'd love to have a companion. <laughs> okay. As long as we don't have to do with the whole play, yeah. Mrs. Director, okay? Right. Anything else you want to tell the folks about the play or anything besides show up please it is it is uh it's a classic good show it's from the early 60s mm -hmm. larry gelbart some people may know that name is, is one of the writers stephen sondheim everybody knows the music yes. mm -hmm. um it was a movie in the mid '60s. It's been revived on Broadway three or four times. It's a hit wherever. wherever Nathan Lane, there. Whoopi Goldberg are yeah. among those who have been in the latter day performances, okay. and it's it's a it's a it's an American standard. Yeah. And it's a delightful evening. You're gonna yeah. you're gonna leave there just feeling good, right? Yeah. And you don't even have to have a glass of wine or two to do that. Nope. You just it's a feel good play, right? You're gonna feel good. The music. You're gonna leave there humming one of the songs. Absolutely. You and, right, mm -hmm. and you might even get out there and get risque and be dancing in downtown church. Oh, there. Know. Yes, risque. Oh, yeah. I like it. Okay, we're in good shape. Yeah. We would well, look at <laughs> Folks, do me a favor out there. A delightful way to spend one of the weekends in early November. Travel to church now, and all my Ken Island people, church, it's, so, it's not difficult at all. Just go through <laughs> Centerville. It's right up the road. It won't take you long at all. It'll be a delightful way to see some local talent do a great job and a fantastic play, all right? Churchill Theater, a funny thing happened on the way to the forum. We want you to be there, okay? 
You've been watching Conversations with Fred. My time's up. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Fred. Thank We're going to see you next time, and we'll see you in Churchill. Okay? Now, in